Hello super user and welcome to the follow up of last week's video of 10 things to add to your templates and document styles. Now this week we're going to talk about 10 more things to add to your templates and document styles. And if we can get this video to 50 likes, I'll make yet another follow up video of 10 even more things to change in your templates and document styles. But before we get started, just two very, very quick announcements. First of all, sorry for getting this video out a day late. The Judge Stream is being released today, and to meet that deadline, I had to spend most of yesterday working on that. Second thing, I'm recording this video slightly different than normal, where I'm doing the voiceover after editing and recording the actual video itself. So if you like it or you don't like it, let me know in the comments below. That feedback will be very helpful. But let's get started. Often if you have cue notes in your music, you probably don't want them to be played back, especially because cue notes are typically cues for other instruments and don't necessarily affect the overall sound of the piece. Now there's actually a way that you can mute cue notes automatically. So go to your document options, go to layers, and then go to layer four, and then uncheck playback and hit apply. This will disable playback for all notes in layer four and just add this to your document style and now every single cue will always be muted. Now what if you wanna hide these cues in the score but still display them in the part? Well go to your staff tool and then go to staff styles, apply staff style to current score or part. And then go down to staff style number 19, blank notation in layer four with rests and hit apply. And you'll notice that now the notes are completely gone but the clefts still remain. So we're gonna update the staff style definition. Go up to staff, define staff styles, and make sure that the same staff style 19 blank notation with rests layer four is selected, and then deselect clefts. You may still have one last cleft left over, but now if you save this staff style to your document styles or templates, most of the clefts will automatically be hidden anytime you apply this staff style to a cue. And if you have cues in other layers, just go back to the staff style definition and then click on settings next to alternate notation and then just apply these settings to the layer of your cues. Now slurs. Slurs in Finale have gotten better over the years, but sometimes they can still be a bit wacky, especially with some of these shorter slurs. So here are the slur settings that I use. So with the Smart Shapes tool, go up to Smart Shapes and then Slur Contour. Under Short Span, I use a height of 0.9 spaces and an inset of 18%. In the medium span, I use a height of 2.5 spaces and an inset of 17%. And then I leave the long span and the extra long span the same. This will just make the slurs overall just look a little bit better. And next up is setting up score only expressions. These are expressions that usually you only want applied in the score. For instance, oftentimes you might want perhaps like things like A2 to only be applied in the score if you have the parts split out. Unfortunately, there's no default way to only show these in the score, but we can make our lives later on easier. So create a new category. Let's just duplicate the text expression category and then call it score only. It'll have the exact same settings as technique text. And then anything we put in here will automatically be in its new category. So let's just move a couple expressions into the new score only category. This helps because now at the end of the piece, we can quickly use JW chains to quickly hide only the expressions in the parts. So we're going to open up JW change and go to expressions and then check visibility. And we're going to make sure visibility is just to show in current, but hide elsewhere and make sure the categories are only affect score only expressions and hit apply. Now you'll notice that the expression still shows in the score, but it doesn't appear in the parts. Now, continuing the theme with new expression categories, one of the I have is called percussion lists. Now, I made an entire video on this with more detail that I'll link to in the description below. But in short, it's really useful in the parts for percussion parts if you were to list out all the instruments that that player plays. Now, the next thing to change in your templates and document styles is the meta tools. Finale may not always have the meta tools you want by default. For instance, in the expression tool by default, if you press M and then click, it'll automatically give you the measure letters. But what if you want the measure numbers? So what you have to do is you have to press Shift M and then select the actual measure number expression and then hit OK. And that resets the meta tool. And then finally, if you were to just press M and then click, it will insert the actual measure number expression. You can do the same thing for articulations and many other tools in Finale. Next up is page format of the part layout. You'll notice that by default on my scores, the vertical layout is already there by default. That's because if you go to document and then page format of parts, 
you can set the system margins to automatically vertically space your music correctly. Next, you'll notice that in my parts, I have measure numbers below every single measure in the part, but by default, that is not the case. So we can actually really quickly fix this. In the measure tool under measure number regions, we want to change the linked part settings. Unselect use score regions, and then unselect top staff, select bottom staff, unselect show start of staff system, and then select show on every one measure beginning at measure number one. And now let's just change their positioning. So hit justification left, horizontal position, leave that as zero and vertical position. Let's leave that as negative six spaces. And now you can see they are positioned correctly. So let's just exit out of there. And look at that, you have measure numbers below every single measure in the parts. So second to last tip of today, you'll notice that under expression text, we have two different expressions, crescendo and diminuendo. Now we can actually make these play back correctly. So just select one, go to edit and then playback and select human playback on and hit okay. That's all you need to do. And now do the exact same thing for the other one. Go to edit, go to playback and then human playback on. And then just for good measure, let's just move these quickly to the dynamics category. That way they're gonna be automatically vertically aligned with the dynamics. Now the very last tip for today, which is not necessarily gonna make your music look better, but it's gonna make your life easier, and that is just deleting extra expressions. As you'll notice, there are a ton of expressions in the default documents that most of them you're probably never going to use. So you can actually just go ahead and delete most of them. Like you probably are only gonna use one pseudo dynamic, so delete the rest. Most of these FFZ combinations you're probably not gonna use, so you could just go ahead and delete them. Now, why would you do this? Well, it's actually quite simple. Every time you have to look up for any expression, the ones that you're never gonna use are just gonna make your life slower. You're gonna have to search further to find the expression you're looking for. Plus, most of these expressions that are built in by default don't have any special playback settings. So even if you delete them, you're not really losing anything special. You can recreate them later. So let's continue with tempo marks. Most of these, again, you probably don't need, and most of them you probably don't use in every file, so let's just delete them. A few of these you might use, so it might be worth keeping, but again, for things like Mystoso, you can just recreate it. There's nothing in the playback column, so you're not missing out on anything by deleting it, and so you could just quickly recreate and type in things like tempo one if you ever want to use it again. And so continuing most of this technique text you can get rid of, you'll probably wanna keep all the ones with meta tools because those are likely the ones you're going to want to use anyways, and just delete the rest. Again, you can recreate them if you want them later. So just hit delete, and you can go ahead and do this for literally every single expression category. Just go ahead, delete it, it'll make you faster, it'll make it more efficient, and it will make sure that you don't have to search through like hundreds of different expressions just to find the single one you're looking for. That's it for today. That is 10 more things to change in your templates and document styles. Again, if you like this video, make sure to like it. At 50 likes, I'll create yet another video just like this with even 10 more tips. So please do like it. And also please let me know what you think about this new video style in the comments below. It does take like three times as long for me to make the videos, but if the videos are like much, much better this way, I will do this more in the future. And as always, each week I post new content about how to use Finale to its fullest. So if you don't wanna miss out on any of those videos, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out.